Hey everybody, welcome back to our tutorial of getting started with Martin MPC and the M series consoles. I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this one, this video, I just want to give you a quick overview of recording presets. Now presets are very important when you're programming your lights because they allow you to have immense flexibility later you can think of them like building blocks for your cues and that's a common way that most people uh, explain it because it makes sense now like the groups I was telling you about how you could change your groups later in order to change the reference that it makes to cues and um, that's going to you know allow you to be able to change whole ranges of cues later just by re-recording a group and the same is true for presets now on the bottom here we can see we've got our presets that are sorted by type so we've got intensity presets pan tilt color gobo beam beam effects and effects macro and there's also going to be uh, like shaper presets um, if you have shutters in your fixtures which I don't have any fixtures here with shutters so um, I did add some Mac 700s and renamed my groups since the last video but that's about it and that's just to uh, give us some spot fixtures um, as well as something with CMY mixing so we can talk about that so when we're recording presets all you have to do is select the fixtures you want to record you set them to the value you want so whether that's intensity pan tilt color gobo whatever say we'll set this one as an intensity at full you hit record on your desk and you click where you want to record it and that's gonna record just the intensity parameter if it's an intensity just the pan tilt if it's a pan tilt and you touched the pan tilt just color if you did color just gobo beam beam effects effects macro and so you see that's the intensity of the max 700s at full can hit clear I can click this it will bring up my max 700s at full in addition I can then select my half max preset press this and it brings the intensity to full on those fixtures um, only the ones I had selected so if I select the preset without selecting fixtures first I get all the fixtures that were recorded when I did that preset um, and you should when you record a preset unlike I just did you should record all your fixtures in it most of the time um, because you can see if I click my washes here go to intensity I can't select that preset it's grayed out and it doesn't work and that's because those fixtures were not recorded in that preset so you always want to take everybody bring them up to full and um, do that over here on my mtouch hit record and you can of course merge now something that MPC is able to do with presets which is a little interesting is you're actually able to make presets of multiple types within these palettes and so uh, these preset directories which is kind of interesting kind of different and I like it and so what I can do is say I'd grab my max 700s and my washes gonna bring them up to full then I'm gonna go over here so bring up to full then I'm gonna give them a position of some kind gonna give them a color gonna give them a gobo for those that have gobos or uh, that's an effect I think on those can mess with the zoom so I mess with a whole bunch of parameters right touch them all you can see them there in the programmer now when I hit record before I put this in the directory I can filter intensity pan tilt color gobo beam and beam effects uh, whichever ones you want and then I save it in there and you see when I hit clear and then recall it again it brings up all the parameters I touched but not parameters I didn't touch like focus iris and prism and it lets me know right here in the top corner of this window that this has intensity pan tilt color gobo and beam and so you can record this in in any directory and you can call it you know what you want say max 700s 
you know, pointed at the ceiling in blue. A and then you're going to, as long as you use these filters in the record window that you get when you hit the record button, as long as you're using these filters, you're going to recall all of those parameters when you recall the palette or the preset as they're called in M series. Sorry about that. Um, but um, obviously they're called palettes in other consoles if you've used other consoles. And so um, that's about all I got for this video. It's pretty basic, but it's very important to be using presets as your programming because it, it's that building block and, and that step in the lighting console that A, allows you when you sit down to program cues to program very fast you're going to have consistency between different cues. So every time you make the, the moving washes green, they're going to be the same shade of green, if, if that's what you want, of course. And, and there isn't going to be any variation between different cues because they're all referencing back to the same color preset. The same goes with all these other parameters. And so that's why it, it's really important to use these guys. So in the next video, I'm going to, uh, in between here, record a bunch of presets in here and then in the next video I'll go ahead and show you how to begin recording them into cues and cue lists and how all that works. I'll see you guys there. Thanks.